in Glasgow's a fucked up situation. People are dying hand over fist in our country. I don't want to take that and die. She's sick of being a class region, so this. Well, I can't remember none of it because I was dead. Scotland has the highest number of drug deaths in Europe. In a country of no more than 7 million, last year over 1,300 people bought drugs, took them and died. Many of them were from the homeless community living in Glasgow. Here, over 500 people regularly take drugs in the city centre. Why so many people are dying is still up for debate. Experts believe there are a number of contributing factors. Amongst them is the availability of street Valium, which flooded the market after diazepam prescriptions were reduced. And it was happening, my brother. Nico. Tell this guy about Valium. Nico. Aye. Tell him about how they're killing every cunt and all that. Aye, yeah. You've lost a few pals, I know, haven't you? I've lost a few pals. I've been in and about drugs all my life, you know what I mean? I was brought up with a mother that took drugs. Um, I ended up in care and stuff. So I ended up, I've run, I've run about the town for years now, you know what I mean? I ended up going with a girl, right? Look, this is how I've ended up coming across the Blue Plague, as they're calling it, you know what I mean? Um, my girlfriend, she took, she took Valium and pre gabbling and died. She was found dead in a tent, you know what I mean? What a way to go, found dead in a fucking tent. I feel as though I've got a hold on it. I feel as though, because I'll take five, see how they are. If I get heavy bouts, then I'll take another five and then I'll leave them for a wee while, you know what I mean? But you get people that just open the bag and swallow the full lot. That's the ones that end up dying, you know what I mean? And so anyway, that's how it works, mate. That's how it goes down, mate. That's how people walk about the school and take their drugs. There are several charities designed to help the homeless in the city centre. Inevitably, they come across drug use, and so they are the first line of defence in this crisis. So the active ingredient in them is a drug called the Tizalam, which in itself isn't a, a very, very dangerous substance. However, when you put Tizalam alongside prescribed medication like pregabalin and then alongside that you're using heroin and then alongside that you're also on your prescribed medication of, of methadone or a tizalam or, or another uh, heroin substitute. Then factor in on that a low immune system, health not great, it is literally the perfect storm. And when you combine all of those factors, that's when people are dying. It's believed that Valium isn't fueling this crisis alone. Polydrug use, or the use of multiple drugs at once, is especially prominent in Scotland. It's this that's creating deadly cocktails of unknown substances. There's no cocaine in the cocaine, there's no heroin in the heroin, there's no Valium in the Valium, there's no fucking ketamine in the ketamine. It's, it's all God knows what. It's all God knows what substitute and it's and, and it's killing people. It's killing people a lot, a lot and a lot and very fast. I am an O, but I'm living the new. It's cunts all for me drugs left, right and centre and I cannot be annoyed with it. Especially Round it. Anywhere in the town, drugs, drugs, drugs. Obviously, I'm going drugs. to buy some drugs. And you don't because know I'm, what's in there. Um, uh, you don't know what's in the barrel, right? But see, I mean, you're living the life you're living in a hostel. It makes you take barrel because it's scary, the town's scary. When it's in your face and you're trying to stay back for drugs, it's very hard when you're living in the city centre of Glasgow. My brother overdosed on Christmas Day and I had to bring him back to life. 
four times, mate, which broke my heart because he is the only person I've got, right? And that was called the fake rally. Sorry for that, mate. They've been gone, mate. But listen, they didn't have gone, mate. Either good, I used to be addicted to them. I'm not gonna lie, you mate. Either amazing. Sorry for the gear, you mate. The gear, the gear, invincible for them. Plus, you give you that bounce, mate. But you don't give a fuck, mate. I've overdosed sixteen uh, times, mate. Oh fuck yeah! Because they, I'll never take the fake value again. I get let a rehab on Christmas Eve. The next day, Christmas Day, we all got to the got a cut of Valium. Yeah. One of them must have been one of the, the dodgy ones, and you know? obviously I ended up dying, I don't know. I can't remember none of it, because I was dead. In 2019, police officers began to carry naloxone, an antidote for opioid overdose. However, one officer I spoke to off camera said she didn't feel she'd been trained enough and wouldn't be comfortable using it. On top of this, many from the homeless community distrust the police and actively avoid them. Listen, people can't come to use this drop in here for food because you're real bold. The Scottish government has vowed to tackle this crisis branding it a national disgrace. In 2019, they set up the Drugs Deaths Task Force with the aim to end this dark period of Scottish history. There is hope for the future. We have some really progressive changes happening. The conversations are beginning to take place in a way like they haven't in the past, which is comforting. We are getting there. I'm not suggesting we're there yet. There are still many, many obstacles that we have to overcome. But I'd, I like to live in a world where there's always hope. I like to live in a reality where there's always hope. We are making the right steps by beginning these conversations around recovery and addiction and what actually works and what change needs to take place. So that's what I'm hanging my hat on just now.